Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. And this video will be another lo-fi ASMR coding video. So I'm going to make a little program. This time we'll have multiple classes. And this program will be a program that determines your zodiac sign. So if your birthday ranges from a certain date range, you get your R. A specific sign of the zodiac or like horoscopes you could you've seen many of those so let me try to code a program like this so and give you some tinkles so enjoy so this program will have two classes one class will be my will handle like the dates and determining the signs and for my other other program which will have my main method it's going to list out the signs or something so let's go let's see how it goes so okay so the first thing is I'm going to set fields for a birthday sign since this will be like a class so I'm gonna in the main method I'll make objects so let's see something like this public Int. Hmm. I think it's, I think it's how you set up a field. I kind of learned this recently, so month. So the birthday, and then public int day. All right, so. Yeah, and I'm going to make a method that determines the sign. So, public, it's gonna be a public method that I could access that from another class. So public, avoid, I won't, I'll just print it here. Uh, determine sign, so this method will allow us to determine the sign. It's gonna be the, it's gonna be the month and the day over here. Or no, it's not gonna take any inputs here. It will be this one. So now I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look which dates are in the corresponding signs. So, okay, so I kind of Googled the signs so I could remember every, everything. I don't remember every single sign. So, uh, every single sign because the only thing I remember is a Virgo because I'm a Virgo. So, yeah, ASMR. So, so Aries is from March 21 to April 20. So, let's see. I'm going to do it's an if state if and else a set of if and else statements. So if this dot month is equivalent to March equals March and this dot month and this dot day is greater than greater than or equal to 21 and where is it my room is a little bit dark so this dot day is less than or equal to 31 this will see this basically means if the birthday is between March 21 and 31 uh, March what did I say 21 
and 31. If that's not true, it could be April because the, hor the horoscope is from a Aries is from March 21 to April 20. So or that. So this or I just copy everything here because all I need to do is to put four is four for April. April 1st to 20. So yeah. So and this will mean if that is true if this this means if the month is either March 30 if it's in March then it has to be 21 to 31 or or it could be from April 1st to 20 and so if that's the case this out print line you are an Aries so yeah I'm gonna do one more one more sign and then I'll skip until all the lines have been made so I don't want to make this video too long so I'll bore bore you guys out so yeah I'm gonna do one more sign my sign will be Virgo this is when I'll do Virgo just fast forward it to Virgo and I'll do the other one if and I'll see if month the Virgo is from August 23 to 22 September so I'm gonna put the condition for August from August 20 23 up to 31 or this month will be or this month could be 9 September 1 up to September 20 22 okay so it just checks if your birthday is in August, between August twenty August twenty third to thirty one or September from first to twenty two, and that's will cover the range of Virgo sign. And I'm gonna put system that out. You are a Virgo. Okay, so these are two signs that I made that I coded. And I'm gonna skip everything. I'll pause and skip everything until I have created all the signs. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. So I've written all the signs to determine for the sign, all the, the date ranges. And yeah, I managed to fix all of the errors because I forgot to add in some brackets and semicolons. So yeah. So now before I finish my this class, I'm gonna add a constructor. So that will initialize the birthday. Birthday sign. And the inputs will be month, int month, int day. Okay. And initialize it. Day equals this day. I think that should be good. I'll try it afterwards. And if there's any errors, I'll cut the video, fix the errors, and come back. So now I'm gonna go to my old sign. Now I'm gonna put, let 
let's see, let's say that I'm going to create. Okay, so this method, I'm going to create uh, an object of birthday sign, so I'll try that, which will contain a date. Date. In. No. Dates. I'll just do birthday, birthday sign, date equals new birthday sign. And let's see, let's see if I put August int 8, int 27. No, it's this, because that's how you assign stuff. And I'm going to put, I'm going to call the method to see how, if it works or not. Birthday sign. Wait, no date. Dot. Get. I don't know what the. I forgot what the method is called. Determine sign. Okay, determine sign. And I'm gonna see how if it works or not. So I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna run it to see if it works. Let's see if it works or not. Pray it works. I'm gonna spray it works. I'm gonna pray it works. What? I <laughs> I don't have a good date. Cannot determine the sign due to incorrect date. Oh shoot. I messed up somewhere, so I'm gonna find that error. like I found the error. I was pretty dumb enough that instead I set those to zero because I reversed it. Month was nothing. It was zero and I accidentally set it to zero so everything was zero. So I had to just flip this because I want to initialize it by the these variables. So I'm gonna go back. So now let's try August 27 and I'm gonna determine sign and I'm expecting a Virgo. You are a Virgo. Okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty nice. And I'm going to do it again. I'll try, let's see, December. All right, let's see, February 29. Let's try February the 29. And I'm going to do something. And I'll try this. And yeah, run. February 29 turns out you are a Capricorn okay that's pretty good wait I think I messed up somewhere and I'm it's Pisces here because I didn't change yes so it should be Pisces now You are a Pisces, that's pretty good, okay. So, I've done, let's try Cancer, which is June 22 to July 22. So I'm gonna do is that, June 22, which is 6-22. And I'll try that. Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> you are a Cancer, oh my gosh, I got it, yes. So now I'm gonna try to make something fun. You know those luck and those chance factors that you get you know, in your horoscopes? I'll try that. So I'll try this. Import random. And import. Just pretty quick util.random just to make the horoscope thing 
more interactive. Your luck rating is uh, I'm going to say plus rand dot next int and the boundary is 11 because it's inclusive. Same thing for your love rating is the same thing as either zero to ten. And yeah, let's try that. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do another date. October the 10th. One more thing. And I forgot a semicolon and pretty quickly fix the patch that up. Where is it? Okay, it's here. And it should be good just to test it out right now and Ta-da! You are a Libra. If your birthday's October 10, your luck rating is 6 out of 10. Your love rating is 10 out of 10. Good luck to you. You'll find your love someday. And what if I create, put an incorrect date? Let's if I put February the 30th, it would, it would not work. If I would try that, it would say, this cannot determine sign due to incorrect dates. So yeah, I coded so that the sign cannot be determined if your birthday is invalid. So yeah, I guess this is pretty good for a starter program. I just coded it today and yeah. Okay, so before this video ends, I'm gonna test if I'm a Virgo well, my, well, my, what would my love be? Let's see, my love rating. Okay, August 28th. Let's just put, I just put a random date because I'm a Virgo. It's not my birthday or anything, just put, but it's the same as my sign. So let's try that. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Okay, please. Okay, your luck rating is eight out of 10. Okay, I, I think I'll be lucky, hopefully, this month. My love rating is 6 out of 10, so I've got a pretty decent shot. And hopefully, TOPT gets in. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little program. My video ends right now. This video ends. And okay, so I hope you enjoyed. This is a funny little program I made for a horoscope or something. Remember all the birthday signs. And hope you got the tingles so this video ends here so drop a like if you got the tingles hit that subscribe button if you want to see more asmrified content including this and for those who have already subscribed thank you very much and i'll happy to make more videos like this so stay tuned peace out